Welcome to History at Home, bringing the museum to you. A decision to build the Upper Steel Arch Bridge, also known as the Honeymoon Bridge and the Falls View Bridge, was made in January 1897 by the Niagara Falls and Clifton Suspension Bridge Company. The contract to build the steel structure of the bridge was awarded to Pencoid Bridge Company of Philadelphia in May 1897, but work on the abutments had begun beforehand to avoid further delays. The abutments were constructed 14 feet closer to the American Falls than the foundations of the suspension bridge, and were only a few feet above the water level of the river. It is this proximity to the water level which would ultimately prove to be the downfall of the bridge. With a span of 840 feet, the Upper Steel Arch Bridge was completed and open to traffic on June 23, 1897. The completed bridge had one floor and double tracks for electric trolleys, as well as room for carriages and pedestrians. The Upper Steel Arch Bridge was a beautiful and graceful structure which offered a spectacular view of the falls. In early January 1899, a massive ice bridge threatened to push the bridge off its foundations. For three weeks, workers removed the ice which had piled around the abutments and into the steel girders. That spring, the bent girders needed repair and a 24-foot high stone wall, beginning four feet below the surface of the river, was constructed around the abutments to protect the bridge from future ice jams. Fast forward until January 1938, when, spoiler alert, a combination of factors resulted in the destruction of the Upper Steel Arch Bridge. Thin ice on Lake Erie, a five-day January thaw, and three days of high winds caused water and ice levels in the lower Niagara River to rise to record heights. On January 25, 1938, nearly 100 feet of ice twisted the steel frame of the bridge, and as the structure creaked and groaned, spectators knew it would only be a matter of time before the bridge collapsed. Reporters, locals, and tourists all flocked to the falls, hoping to witness the fall of the bridge. At about 4.10 p.m. on January 27th, a movement of ice on the American side pushed the bridge off its abutment. With a huge roar, it collapsed into the gorge, forming a twisted W on the ice below. The wreckage of the bridge was cut into six sections and remained a popular tourist attraction for the duration of the winter until the ice bridge began to break up. On January 12, 1938, the pieces of the once grand bridge began to sink one by one, and the last one disappeared from view at 4 p.m. To provide an international crossing at the falls, the Rainbow Bridge was built in 1941, just north of the location of the ill-fated Honeymoon Bridge. Thanks for letting us bring the museum to you.